Dance often tells a story. It's our job as performers to bring that story to life. And in doing so, we want to engage our audience. Engaging our audience, though, can be a little bit challenging. More often than not, when there's comedic parts or sad parts, the audience reacts. You get a laugh, you get a whoa, something. You get round of applause. We've also had shows before, and this happens to everyone, where the audience is just dead silent. You wonder if they have a pulse, and you're sitting there going, but, but, but that was funny. Like, that was also a really hard thing to perform. Like, why is there no clapping? And as a performer, you're standing there trying to do your dance, and it, it's just like, oh, my audience is not responding. <laughs> and we need to not worry about that. We need to continue engaging our audience. For anybody who's ever performed in any show that I've created, you know that I will oftentimes have at least one dancer go out into the audience and get them engaged in some fashion. Sometimes it's dancing around them, sometimes it's dancing with them, sometimes it's to give a little bit of a surprise factor in some regards. It's some way to keep our audience part of the show. We want our audience to be able to be interacting with us. There's other things that we can do though to engage our audience. Sometimes it's simple choreography for your eyes and facial directions to engage. One of the things that I will sometimes tell my dancers is never make eye contact though with your audience. You give the illusion of eye contact and that is to make sure that you don't break your stride. And <laughs> we wanna make sure that sometimes if we do make a direct eye contact with an audience member, sometimes that can throw us off our guard. So there's ways that you can learn how to perform without losing your technique and your skill out on that stage and how to not break your character and lose the storyline. When it comes to engaging your audience, there's also different ways that you can interact them, with them from the stage whether you're presenting to them in some fashion or you're making different gestures to welcome them in. All these things should be taken into consideration when you're performing. If there's a note given for why a specific part of choreography is to be done, it's because more often than not, we want to engage the audience. Obviously, there's other reasons why people would be getting notes, but <laughs> We want to be able to engage our audience and sometimes that becomes lost when we're thinking about just the choreography. So try to think about some of that as you are rehearsing and getting ready for your show. This also comes down to some of our stage presence and making sure that you have a strong stage presence. And I grade my dancers as we go so they learn how to have a stronger presence out there and engage their audience better and that all kind of falls under that same category. I will see you tomorrow as we talk about Backstage World. I will see you then.